Or Bill Barney joins us, the CEO of Global Cloud Exchange, and uh, here with us uh, 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 at the desk, uh, around the desk at the SGX. Bill, great to see you. Welcome back. It's it's been a long time. Good to see you. So, Good to uh, see you, talk to us first about define this. What exactly is a new a hyperscale data facility? Well, these are these are uh, very common in the United States and Europe. These are large data centers with at least 40 megawatts of power coming in for uh, servers uh, in, in the server hall. So enormous data centers. No one's ever built one at this size in India before. Okay, why is it taking so long? Uh, the infrastructure, you got to have power infrastructure, you got to have the ability to get that much power to a building, um, and that's a huge challenge in India. Um, so, I mean, obviously you have to have that infrastructure first before you actually can do this, and okay. we're... And it's significant, we were kind of chuckling about this offline a couple of seconds ago, it's significant that this is a private initiative. Uh, you're off to the Global Cloud Exchange, also ST Telemedia getting together to do this. The government has no hand, no stake, uh, not even in the financing, right? Correct. So okay. These are, and I think you're going to see a lot of these projects coming up. I think that, uh, I mean, cloud computing is exploding in India right now, and uh, you know we're seeing growth rates of 20 to 25 percent per month wow. growth rates in in India right now. So you're seeing rapid acceleration, and I think that's going to drive. This is the first of many, and we'll, this is actually the first of what we think will be at least three or four of these centers that we build right on that same campus over the next five years. Wow, three in the next five years, and you, uh, in terms of demand. And uh, we were talking about how a lot of it's going to come uh, from from big foreign names. Uh, yeah. I, I say, let's say Amazon is coming into India, right? Yeah, no, I think it's uh, what you're going to see is it's largely media companies and it's people accessing computing. It's the applications on your handsets, you know, it's, it's telephones that are actually using these uh, these apps that are sitting in these these locations. And then it's also industrial computing. As you know, India was a and has been for many years a major outsourcing location for many of the Fortune 500. Mm -hmm. Now you're actually going to see them using the powers of cloud computing which makes uh, that outsourcing even more viable than it was uh, you know five ten years ago when they actually had to essentially put a workstation on everyone's desk yeah, now yeah. you can essentially share compute power uh, in, in uh, through these these cloud uh, uh, centers so is it going to make it uh, better faster cheaper for them because I mean back in their heyday these guys were enjoying margins of what uh, in excess of 20 percent and then it became much more commoditized but with the advent of cloud now does this give them another a new leg up yeah it reduces I mean I mean, just just to put it in perspective, if you think about a, a uh, an outsourcing center, this reduces the capital per seat mm -hmm. by almost 80%. Right. And so as you start to see all these applications moving into the cloud, it reinvigorates that industry and the outsourcing portion of it. They already have a low cost of labor there. Yeah. This adds uh, also obviously the capital. And th these these types of services today are available in the United States. Yeah. You're now seeing them here. So I think it's it's really just putting India on a, on a level footing with many of the U.S. tech companies in terms of uh, infrastructure. So Bill, gotta ask you the, the the way the Indian rupee has been going, uh, not very well, uh, does that have a material impact or could it have a material impact on, on your business when this uh, data center gets up and running? No, I think it actually, uh, uh, a low rupee is actually going to lead to more outsourcing. It's going to actually bring more of these, these types of cloud computing applications in there because what comes with cloud computing centers are developers. Mm. And lower cost of labor, lower cost of rupee, you're actually going to see, I think this will actually have a, a, a very positive impact on the cloud computing industry and also on the software industry industry in India going yeah. forward. You get more for your foreign dollar. Understood. Bill, pleasure talking to you. Uh, Great to again. see you again, That's, Martin. Uh, yeah, see you again soon. Bill Barney uh, there, uh, CEO at the Global Cloud Exchange.